Let's turn to good health. She got a genetic test to help save her life, and now decades later, she's learned the results were wrong. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with one woman's cautionary tale. Yeah, definitely. This is a little interesting, Karen. You know, generally, these genetic tests are actually very reliable, but mistakes do happen, and when they do, the results, of course, can be devastating. Maureen Bozen has always known cancer risk was high in her family. My grandmother actually passed away from ovarian cancer when she was 44. She had five sisters and none of them lived at the age of 50. And then my mother uh, was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was 32. Because of their family history, Maureen and her sisters took part in a research study at a university in the Midwest. My siblings and I all went to um, have our blood drawn when we were like, three, five, seven. They could receive their DNA test results when they turned 18. The sisters each got their results around age 21. One was negative for the deadly gene mutation. Two came back positive, including Maureen. She was devastated. The first question out of my mouth was, is there any chance this could be wrong? And the researcher said no. And so Maureen decided to get a preventative double mastectomy at age 23. She married, had three children, never able to breastfeed. But the gene also affects the ovaries. And so um, the right thing to do and what the doctors recommend is to have a complete hysterectomy by the age of 35. And I was in my early 30s. Before that surgery, insurance wanted a new DNA test done. Everyone knew it would come back positive, except it didn't. I was at work. And the first thing she said was, we need to talk. And my heart just sank. And she said, you're negative. And I just started bawling. She got another test. It was negative, too. That first test, even though she was told it couldn't be wrong, was wrong. I wish what I had been told was, if you don't trust it, get another test. But that's not what I was told. And that just, my life could have been so different. My life has been great. I'm incredibly fortunate. I'm blessed, but it just could have been different. So I think for patients to know, if you had testing 10 years ago, we probably need to update you. So make sure you're asking those questions. Maureen obviously did not have the hysterectomy. The university where the original research was done is currently retesting Maureen's DNA. She's expecting to get the results of that fourth test back any day. Now, the type of genetic testing that Maureen had done is usually recommended when certain types of cancers run in a family and a gene mutation is actually suspected. The take-home message here really is, if you had one of these tests done many years ago, it may be worth repeating because of advances in technology and, frankly, our understanding of genetic diseases. And it never hurts just to get a second test, a second opinion. Right, but I think oh. one of the lessons here is, you know, there is no test that is perfect, and right. you do need to be careful about doing extra testing. Do you feel for Maureen? Yeah. Thank you, Doc. Mm -hmm.